The following program is brought to you with limited commercial interruption. Today's broadcast is being simulcast in broken English. Welcome to the show that we're doing right now. What the hell are we doing on this show? Boy, that escalated quickly. I mean, that really got out of hand fast. It jumped up a notch. It did, didn't it? Let's go. What is this? Who else but the Q? It's showtime. Gentlemen, gentlemen, let's get down to business. Can you dig it? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the queue. Now you're listening to the best pop culture, current events, current affairs show, East or West of that Mississippi River, hailing from the great city of St. Louis and worldwide at thequeuenow.com. I am your host, Mark Bland. Again, Ray Reed is running for the state house, and he is our guest on this episode of the queue. Now we are going to talk to Ray. We're going to do the USA draft. I'll explain that as we do that because Ray's going to join us for that fun there also. And Trump did an interview with Brett buyer from Fox News, and it was a train wreck showing you that he should definitely not be president of the United States. Ladies and gentlemen, first off, let me welcome my co-host, a man that I do love quite dearly, Uh, uh, Jason Go. You too. Well, thank you, Jay. Thanks, Appreciate it. Uh, You're no welcome. Problem. No problem like that. So right. Jason Call is here once again, ladies and gentlemen. And that leads us to our guest. Running for the, is it the 86th? 83rd. 83rd. I'm sorry. The 83rd District State House. One Mr. Ray Reed, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, thank you for uh, joining the show today, Ray. Thank you, guys. Great to be here. Man, uh, listen. You, the way we meet is on Twitter. I got my check mark taken away from me, remember? Yeah. Unceremoniously punished. punished because I was well known and people liked me. Take that. Uh, and I earned it a long time ago before Elon Musk probably even had a Twitter account. And yeah. uh, literally, literally, talked to this man over here. He had put up a post about how he had been at a Juneteenth party, correct, sir? Yeah, the Juneteenth parade in uh, North St. Louis County. All right. Oh, speak up for me, man. I want to make sure everybody hears you out there. You yeah, yeah. Saying? There yeah. you go. So, so, so it was uh, in North St. Louis County. Yeah. It was a Juneteenth get together. Yeah. Uh, to celebrate the holiday. Correct. And while you were there, uh, how many people would you say were at this uh, Juneteenth event? Oh, uh, there, there was a ton. There were kids. There were parents. Uh, a lot of school marching bands. It was packed. It was packed. Yeah. A lot of people there. So you are on your way from one section of the event, uh, the event space, venue, whatever you want to say, to another section of it. Yep. And then you run into a blockade of people and yep. some police officers. Yes. And you decided that you wanted to, and I'm telling your story. I'm sorry here. I, I just want to make sure I got all this correct. No, it is. You're but it's good, it's good that, I, that I'm doing it this way because we're killing two birds with one stone as we speak. So then you tap a police officer on the shoulder, the side, whatever, to let them know that you want to get their attention. Mm-hmm. And before you could even literally say what you needed to tell them about, you got a punch directly into your chest, knocking the wind out of you and knocking you backwards to the ground. Yeah, b- pretty much. You know, I tap uh, the gentleman, on the officer on the shoulder. He turns around and says, don't sneak up on me kind of loudly and uh, gives me a good one to the chest. Really? Yeah. And that was your experience. That, yeah. Now, this was the St. Louis Metropolitan Police Department? I, I believe his car said North County. I didn't. It's where? North County on the side of his car. So okay. It's the North County so, Co-op. So it could be North County Co-op. Yeah. Okay. Where was the event at? Uh, like like the, what city? The intersection of Chambers and West Florissant Avenue in Delwood. So it'd be Delwood. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I grew up over there. <laughs> Are you from up there? Are you from I'm North County? I'm from Brentwood, the greatest suburb in St. Louis. Okay, first off, that is disrespectful <laughs> to everybody. Brentwood is okay. It's no Richmond Heights, but hey, literally, it's okay. Um, but with that, uh, I am from Florissant. I am from North County. I'm a NOCO kid. Yeah. And uh, that cooperative, that is uh, that is where they like to send police officers who don't 
play along right. well with the o- others. We've had these Collection stories the on the queue now and this 1280 AM KYRO Fox News Radio affiliate before. Yeah. We've discussed the North County Co-op police officers. Um, but I'm sorry that that happened to you. Obviously, that's, uh, that's not something that you were uh, looking forward to having in your day. Yeah, I didn't and, even think that would. Yeah, there, 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 like somebody would have told you at the beginning of the day, today a police officer is going to punch you in your chest and he won't even see you coming. Like, what? If, You'd be like, wait, what? <laughs> like, I, what if he was an 80 year old woman that needed help? Yeah. And he would have, did he react like he didn't see him at all? Like, like, well, I, I love the fact that he woman. explains to him to not sneak up on him and then but, punches him in the chest. But I thought I didn't know if he was like, don't sneak up on me as he's as he's coming around swinging. So it's like all at once. Maybe. Maybe it Imagine. was. Our friend was the one getting hit and knocked over. Excuse yeah. me, sir. I, I don't, Did you say anything to him after he hit you? I explained to him, like, excuse me, I was just trying to say, excuse me, uh, so I could get by you. And he, and he repeated, you know, don't sneak up on officer, brother. And I was like, oh. Okay. Okay. All right. Now, I'm not going to sit there and say that this police officer's warning is unwarranted because yeah, uh, it's always a that. good idea to make sure you don't sneak up on police officers. Yeah, they don't like that. That also takes into account the idea that you purposely are trying to do it. That's where that comes into, to, to, you know, if it's a person who's purposely trying to sneak up on a police well, yeah, officer, you yell at them. Then you yell at them and say, don't try to sneak up on a police <laughs> officer. That's one thing. But if you are a guy who's just trying to walk between this pavilion and the bathroom, <laughs> these guys are in the way of your route. There's no other way, right? Barricades on the side, people walking through areas and stuff like that. Like if they're in your way and you got to get through, you would think that if you tap them to let them know, hey, that yeah. you're not sneaking up on them. In fact, that's the whole point of the tap. The tap literally is to let you know there is someone trying to say something or do something to you. Right. If I don't tap you and I just skull punch you in the back of the <laughs> donkey punch you in the back of your skull. That's sneaking up on you. That's called sneaking up on you, ladies and gentlemen. The other one is I, I just need your attention. So, Ray... Unbelievable. Now, I have a question. Yes. That's the story. Um, I think that those police officers should be held accountable for doing that to you. I don't know exactly what the punishment or the consequences of said interaction should be. They could be fired from their jobs. They could be you know, put on a, a couple weeks suspension, possibly. I don't know. Based on severity. Okay? I have no clue. But... Um, what what would you like to see done in this situation? Yeah, so you know we contacted, uh, of course, his uh, lieutenant, then the captain. Sure, yeah, to let uh, people know. Yeah, and try, we're right now trying to get his body cam footage. Um, and well, that'd be sunshine law. Yeah, my, I think honestly that officers are just as much a product of the system as. Because they're human, skinny black kids. Yeah, you know, because they're human and they're yeah. around it all the time too. Yeah, I've always believed, you know, the feeling that an officer's wife feels as he walks out the door to go to work twenty miles away is the same feeling that a black mother's, uh, the black mother feels for her son as he goes out the morning, out the door in the morning. I think it's probably just yeah, every morning, I, I, but but I also think it's just every single. I understand, mm-hmm. and I'll be the first to admit, there's obviously racist tendencies and issues within oh, yeah. sections of our society. Missouri being a conservative state, a Trump supporting type state, ridiculously. Yeah. Uh they like to go down those roads where, hey, you're just the skinny black kid and you don't matter, Ray. Mm-hmm. And I understand that. And I'm sure you've dealt with that over the years growing up. How old are you? Twenty six. Twenty six years old. Twenty six years young. <laughs> I'm forty seven. That man over there is even older than me. I, How old are you? Forty nine. 49, you turned 50 this year, right? It is this year. Are we doing a big party for you? We should. Ray, you going to come to the party? I'm always down to party. Are you going to come party for Jay's 50th birthday? We're going to just get drunk and have a good time next to a fire pit, probably. Yeah. When's your birthday? The 4th of September. Oh, so it's in the fall, September. Look at that. There you go. I'm down. We'll record it and put it up. Well, that would be basically Labor Day, probably. You're probably your birthday falls on Labor Day every once in a while. Yeah, yeah. If it's on a Monday, it's usually Labor Day. Okay. All right. Um, what would you like to see done with these police officers, sir? Uh, I mean, I know you said you contacted these individuals, but you didn't, you're you're still working on that. Training is key to me. You know, I think the way that we train officers needs to seriously be revisited. Uh, 
there's no reason that an officer should, first of all, be on defense at a summer parade like that. You know, there's a million people around. I didn't tap you to hurt you. Um, so whether it's mental health services for officers, uh, whether it's uh, helping them through PTSD, because I know those officers in North in North uh, County and the city of St. Louis have seen like unspeakable horrors throughout their career. Uh, and a lot of them are, are vets who need to be supported, too. Um, That's fair. So, yeah, we have to do everything we can to support our police officers um, while also, you know, protecting I like Ray's, black kids. I like Ray's approach. <laughs> All right, it's calm. I like it's a very it's well, first off, it's educated. Mm-hmm. It, it is measured to a proper stance. Um, he's focused on education. He's focused on trying to help these people if they have any PTSD issues like that. He's trying to find ways to not manipulate the system to benefit himself. No. He's trying to turn it around and fix the system and help these individuals get help if they need it. Now, I want to mention something that I feel is fair because Police officers don't always get defended. They really don't. And I'm not going to be the first person to defend a police officer. That is not my typical stance or way that I handle anything in this world. Everything for me is situational. Yeah. Literally subjective and situational. Yeah, there's But I will say this. Cop. I will say this. Police officers are just like you and me. Mm-hmm. They all grow up in the same areas that you and me do. They go to the same types of schools that you and me do. They learn from the same teachers and people that you and me do. And like you said, they're a product of their own system to an extent. And that's why you want to do all the training and the, and the extra help and stuff like that. But sometimes I, I feel like we've gotten enough stuff that has happened now since Michael Brown, mm-hmm. since Trayvon Martin, uh, to where even the officers grew up with it. You got a lot of young officers who are basically your age, Ray. Yeah. And they were in high school. When the Michael Brown situation happens. Yeah, some of my friends are police officers. My best friends in the world are police officers, yeah. Yeah. And it's and that's the thing, you know. Um, well, that's crazy, man. It's crazy that you had to take a hit in the chest for, for no reason whatsoever. And I really do hope whatever's going on with the North Co- uh, County Cooperative and the lieutenants that you talk to and, and those individuals, I hope that they can help you find some type of peace, solace, help, Whatever it is, consequence, I don't know what you're looking for specifically. Like you said, you want to help, but that seems like it's more on the other tip, which is you're running for state house. I am. I am. And because you're running for state house, you're going to want to affect change. And you said publicly on your Twitter that one of your first acts is going to be reform with the police department Mm -hmm. and police reform. That's what you want to focus on. It is. I, you know, I have a lot of goals on day one. You know, we're, we're, I come, I ran for Congress last year. And we, how'd you do? I mean, we, I, I, know, I know you didn't <laughs> win. No, no, no. But I'm wondering, is, how'd you do as far as like gaining support, yeah. finding the people? Like, yeah. how did that go for you? I think uh, the biggest thing, I was 25 years old running for Congress and uh, it gave us a platform to go on you know, national TV outlets like MSNBC, CNN. And that helped us reach a lot of young people. And Who's inspire. us? Uh, who's us? My, me and my team for the campaign. You have a uh, team for your campaign. Now, uh, who who's on your team? Uh, right now, Mark my, Bland. Is Mark Bland on your team? You know, I hope you are. You know, anyone, okay. anyone right. who believes uh, that, you know, our government should be a service to the folks who could just use a little bit of breathing room, you're on this team. Right. This that's, is your campaign. That's, no, no, that's a really good way to put it. The yeah. government, listen, Republic. Shh, hold on, Ray. Hold on. <laughs> It's time for me to shush the people because, and I have turned everybody's microphone off and I have to shush them. I get right up into the microphone and go, shh, shh, listen, Republicans, all of you conservatives here on this Fox News radio affiliate on KYRO right now, listen to me. What this man just said, super duper important. You need to understand that this is a concerted effort to get you all on the right side of history. The government should be used not as a tool, but as a safety net to kind of give you some breathing room. Am I correct there, sir? Exactly. That's that's the that's when our government That's how you best. should view it, Republicans. I, like that's how 
uh, I view it. That's how Jason views it. That's how Ray views it. We don't look at the government as this evil entity. Think about this, Ray. Think about this. Use this to your advantage. Think of every conspiracy theory you've ever heard. It's always about how our government is in some deep-seated, deep-fake, deep-state BS on the backside where they're trying to come after their own citizens. So it's not even pro-democracy when you're a conspiracy. Like, it's literally you just the conspiracy theories that you even tell people are just the anti. They are literally the opposite of democracy. Well, look at them. They call the government evil, but, like, two years ago they tried everything possible— and did illegal acts to stay in control. To of stay the in evil control government. of the evil government. That's why like, I always they say. They committed multiple crimes. Pro- about presidents. <laughs> right? You literally try to sit there and go, well, I don't need this job. I yeah, don't want this uh, job. Uh, While you yeah. go around. Listen, Ron DeSantis is so stupid. <laughs> I think that we might have discussed <laughs> this, but he is so stupid. This man is literally living in Florida as their governor. All right. He is getting migrants that just come over the border in New Mexico, and he's flying them from there up to California. But here's the best part. What's the first thing that he does, Jason, when all of this year starts up? He announces he's running for president. Oh, yeah. Now I got to go to the states where I'm purposely shipping illegal right. immigrants to, <laughs> and I have to go say, I'm a great human being. Right. You should vote Look for me to run your entire country. Look at what I did living in Florida with people from New Mexico up to your state in California. Uh, I'm a moron. He, he might join. And that's the same thing for New Mexico, too. Well, he might join Trump in the indictment area because he may have committed a crime by sending these migrants to California and to New York. We'll talk a little bit more about that when we get back. But when we get back here on 1280 AM KYRO, me, Ray Reed, and your boy Jay over yeah. there, we're going to discuss Trump. We're going to discuss it all. We'll be back right after this. Twelve eighty AM KYRO Mark Bland Ray Reed Our boy Jay Call right here and Gucci Me He's here I got so many feelings I might can't never go to counter double drinks Welcome back to the Q now so let me check my calendar I just pop me one of them what your colors in it Ray Reed's running for state rep eighty third district yeah. St. Louis area. Oh, yeah. And uh, we just got done talking about some uh, fun that he had with the police at a Juneteenth party. But uh, he's not the only person who's been uh, having fun lately. We're going to get into some Donald Trump in a second here. <laughs> but, uh, Jay, I am excited. Yeah? Do you know why? Why? Ray, do you know why I am excited right now? No, man, why? Because I'm going to take a vacation. That's right, Jay. Next That's week, right. next week's show, we're, there's going to be no show. You're just going to be, nope. be off. Sitting around. You'll just be sitting around doing your own thing. Ray will be handling his own business. I will be down in Branson, sir. Did you know that? Probably don't care. No. It's okay. You don't have to care. No, I knew that. You I will that. tell you this. I can't wait because I'm going to go zip lining. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna go dangerous. Oh, no, no, no. I'm going zip lining. Adventure Zip Lines of Branson. Yeah. If you go to if you go to Adventure Zip Lines of Branson.com, it's a long one, but Adventure Zip Lines of Branson.com, you can see the uh some of the, right. uh, the the locations, the towers, the way it looks, all of it. It looks like it's going to be amazing. I bet the views are super cool. Uh, well, listen, I went I just I literally t- turned to the kids and the wife and I was like, "Hey, what do you guys want to do when we're down in Branson?" Because they're a little older. This is going to be one of those trips where it's a little bit more memorable than the last time we were there when they were a lot younger. Yeah, yeah. So this is going to be one of those, hey, let's have some some cool fun, right? And I always want to do something on the lake, but I forgot this time. But that's okay because we had the conversation with the kids and the wife. And it all came back as, oh, well, we'd like to go zip lining. And I was like, oh, cool. That'd be cool. Zip lines would be fun. Right. Right? So, uh where do we go zip lining at? I found Adventure Zip Lines of Branson, and uh, we're going to go try them out. We're going to go yeah. see how good zip lines are. You see them on the side when you're going down. Oh, yeah. They always look places. like a fun. Yeah, they'll, they'll, it looks cool. Like Some of them go pretty far. 
all the way down like a nice, nice well down there hill. well down there they're in the like boot heel or not the boot heel they're in the like um little hill down by like it's down the the mountains yeah. like the ozark it's kind of hilly down through yeah. that down through the valley as for, close to the mountains as we can get you in Missouri. yeah and literally you got huge hills on the top of it where they got zip line companies and yeah. stuff like that and i check these guys out i really like these guys so we're gonna we're gonna check out adventure zip lines of brands and then we're also going to be checking out uh <laughs> So the last time we were there, I told the kids, the next time we come, we'll go here. Okay. Yeah. And the kids looked at me and they were like, uh, last time we were down there, you said we could go to Ripley's Believe It or Not. So we want to go to Ripley's <laughs> Believe It or Not. And I was like, okay. <laughs> so we're going to go to Ripley's. You could go to Ripley's.com slash Branson. That's where you can go and check yeah. out Ripley's Believe It or Not down in Branson. That's where me and my family are going. And it looks awesome, dude. First, first off, listen, do you remember the TV show when we were kids? Oh, yeah. I've been to one of those in the Wisconsin Dells. Oh, that's awesome. You know, I have not been to the Wisconsin Dells. I need to go it's up there like sometime. kind of like Branson without country music and more water parks. More Basically. water parks? How many yeah. water parks do they need? I don't know. It's the wa- most water parks on earth or something like that. I don't know. In their commercial, they say it. What, for like just the water the Dells? park capital of the world or something like that. How many water parks do you really need? Dude, they have tons. Have you been to the Dells? Right? I haven't. They have tons. They I've are, been to every inch of Missouri, but I haven't been to the Dells. They have like no. a, a boardwalk that runs all the way through, I forget what town. I, I don't know if it's Wisconsin Dells, Wisconsin, or if it's whatever. Area. Yeah. But anyway. The town down there, up there. All along that, sort of like at Branson, where they have like the, the, strip, the, the whitewater the strip. parts on that strip. Yep. Imagine that strip a little longer with like five more. And then, like, outside of the area, they have a couple more. And that was, I mean, this was forever ago. So they probably have way more now. Um, Because this is 25 years ago, maybe more. That's fair. That's fair. Um, So I remember watching the TV show when I was growing up. Yeah. And I've never been to a Ripley's Believe It or Not museum. So I figured it would be kind of cool to, or have I? I went to a place that had a wax museum. There's a wax and it museum might down be there. it might be at uh, Ripley's, uh, but it was like yeah. Vegas. Maybe it could have been in Vegas or somewhere like that. I didn't know there was a TV show. I thought there was just the, the book. Used no, to no, no. Show. There's a TV show. That, that's how we found. Uh, that's how I found out about yeah. Ripley's. Believe it or not, growing up was the TV show came on the air. Yeah, it would and tell you a couple. And of what it was or... is every story was true. 100% true because yeah. they have the artifacts yeah. in their museums, but it was always such crazy stories. And at the end, you'd be like, believe it? Do, do you believe it or not? And it's yeah. like, I yeah. guess I'm going to have to believe, believe it. it. Why not? I'm going to have to believe it. <laughs> I'm All right. like, I don't have the internet now. How can I prove you wrong? Um, It was hard to prove people wrong back then. You had to go get your encyclopedias. <laughs> like, oh, yeah? Is that what you think? <laughs> oh, wait. I got the wrong one. <laughs> get, grab another one. Uh... They got a lot going on down there. They do. It's not just the museum, which I'm excited to see. That's why I and said like the, the the TV show, the artifacts, all that good stuff. You can. I was excited about that, but they got more than just that, guys. Well, you can safely visit the Titanic. Oh, you can safely visit the Titanic. <laughs> have the Titanic. But no, no, no. At Ripley's, they got like this new super fun park section that they started. Yeah. Uh-huh. That's got like laser tag, outdoor maze, oh, there you uh go. some laser racing and a thing called Smash Dash that's or something. Cool Smash and Dash. That's what's cool about Branton, but also evil about Branton is there's so many different little, little arcade little things. Little knick knacky places just you can blow go. So much cash and like, that is a pro listen, like, if you really game things everywhere. You know how listen, you know how like there's you you've been you got kids that are of, uh-huh. of the age of YouTube and watch you ain't got any kids at Gray? No, not yet. No kids for Ray. Um, so you understand the YouTubers love to do these like prank videos. They like to do all kinds of different styles of videos. And one of the favorite styles of videos that they typically like to do is, um, where they'll go and try to win prizes at an arcade. Like we're going to try to win every prize in this arcade. We're going to try to blah, 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 this. And we're going to try to like. Branson would be perfect for like content videos. Like if you're, there is water parks, there is go kart right. racing, there is all this bumper on the boats, same block. all on the same <laughs> block. Literally, you could put out like ten months worth of videos yeah. back to back to back to back. And then every now and then, off just of just those, the strip in Branson, those open air video game where you just walk in. There's no doors. You know those ones that they're everywhere too. Can I ask you a question? Rows of video games. You lived favorite. in Missouri long enough. Oh yeah, twenty some years. What is the deal with living in Missouri, guys, 
and them thinking that putting an outlet mall somewhere <laughs> is like the draw that it needs right. to get people there. It's like it's kind of off the highway. People will come. Man, I remember when in Warrington they put an outlet mall. The yeah, first one ever in Missouri. Yeah, I remember going to it. And I remember going to it when I was young. Yeah. And I'll tell you this, uh, it wasn't all that amazing, but it took a long time to get there what, because man. of where they put it. And now, if you go there today in 2023, 30 years later, right, that mall is dead. Oh, There's yeah. literally only like a couple of places, like a Mexican place and a couple other, you know, like sh- stores in there. Yeah. That's it. Everything else yeah, is dead. Now it's all local stuff, too. Even if it is full, it's always like local shops. So that's that's what's coming up for me, Jay. I'm excited. That's a fun place. Branson gets a lot of flack, but if you filter out all the country stuff, it's a fun place. There's yeah. so much more to do. Than you don't have to go see the, you know, a Jesus show or a country well, show. Well, and that's the thing. You don't like, have to. Like, I, but you can. Hey, listen, you could be like me. You could go to Ripley's and you could go do the zip lines, the right? adventure zip lines of Branson, and you could you could have a great time. And what like I like it. about Branson is it's a it's a, a good dollar for, for eating. It's not necessarily expensive to eat down there. It's similar to just Correct. around here. Whereas, that's like, fair. you go on vacation to, like, a city, you're crazy expensive. Uh, let's get into it a little bit. Uh, because we do have to do the USA draft. Yeah, that's right. We are going to draft and state, ladies and gentlemen. Let's 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 talk about this for just a quick second. Yeah. Um, and maybe we'll do that in our next segment, or no, we'll we'll wait a little bit. We'll wait. I, I want to talk about this Trump stuff. In fact, let me get into the Trump stuff, and then we'll just do that in a little bit. Okay. Um, Donald Trump was left speechless. Ray Reed. During his latest interview with Fox News journalist Brett Byer, when the host pointed out that Mr. Trump proposed proposed policy of executing convicted drug dealers been active during his presidency, among its victims would have been Alice Johnson, a woman to whom Mr. Trump granted clemency after being persuaded to do so by a campaign led by Kim Kardashian protesting her innocence. (laughs) When he was told this, no, 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 under my... under under that, uh, uh, Mr. Trump flubbed, subsequently accusing the host of being hostile towards him. Yeah. Because, you know, any time. Yeah, Brett Bear's a real <laughs> right. hostile guy. Real hostile to Republicans. <laughs> Meanwhile, a new CNN poll has recorded a six-point drop in support for the former president among conservatives. His approval rating down from 53% in mid-May to 47% in mid-June in wake of his 37 criminal count federal indictment over the classified document scandal. All right. Um, all of which follows Trump's appointed judge Eileen Cannon moving on Tuesday to set the trial date of the 14th of August, 2023, to hear the case in Fort Pierce, Florida, which is right. a big win for Jack Smith and those guys because yeah. it's so, fast. It's well, the so way far, they want it. He's, he's playing ball so far. A uh, federal grand jury indicted Mr. Trump for allegedly willfully mishandling classified documents, obstruction of justice, and making false statements, yes. Mr. Reid. Yes, All of which to Mike w- Pence and Joe Biden didn't do with their documents. In to case which anyone he pleaded not guilty at his Miami arraignment last week. But here's the deal. Fox it's, Fox knows Trump will use that power of the Oval Office to, aff- talk, to attack Fox in retribution right. for giving up on his election lies. Yeah. Like, they know they this. Arizona. This is why the Brett Byer things are, this is why he's doing these interviews. And, and this dude, literally, he literally can't shut up to keep his <laughs> butt out of prison, dude. Like, seriously, watch that interview. There's no way that man testifies in his trial. There's no way... He can get on a stand and take, take Jason a cross examination four effing thousand times. This clown right. has been to court right four thousand and ninety five <laughs> times to be exact. <laughs> Who besides a career shyster needs to resort to litigation that damn much? Literally, yeah, that's all. He if does. you're not a shyster, hey Ray, you got any court cases? I do not, no. Hey, Jay, you got any court cases? uh, Hey, I ain't got no court cases. Wow, that's really weird. We got no court cases between the three of us for anything going on whatsoever in our lives. This man's been to court (laughs) 4,095 times. That's crazy to me. I haven't done anything 4,095 times. And what's crazy is that- Including sex. (laughs) Right. Including sex, and we all love sex. (laughs) Yeah, I had, I had go a ahead. job. Go ahead, Ray. What were you saying? No, I was going to say what's crazier is that this guy has all this going on and he wants to occupy the most venerated <laughs> office right. in the world. The, the, no, the problem is he already did. <laughs> yeah, he already did right. sit in that office. It's like, which, uh, by the way, I've got a great idea, Jay. Yeah. 
I'm going to let this one fly, Ray. I think you guys are going to definitely be on board with me. You ready? Mm -hmm. Let's tell Trump that it's true. The election go. was rigged. Yeah, it was stolen. You're the, you're the president of 2020. <laughs> oh, my goodness. You, you can't run in 2024. That's two terms yeah, back to back. You already did. You've already been president time. too long. You've been president the whole time, yeah. bro. Now you've been gone too long. You can't be president. Uh, now. And then he'll be like, oh, but I, I'm ready to go. I'm going to go back to <laughs> Washington, D.C. right now. Like, no, 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 you can't. You can't do it. Listen. There's no way that we can, like, knock down a sitting president with another president right. for no reason. Remember when we couldn't, like, get judges for the Obama, for <laughs> yeah, the last, yeah. for no, the SCOTUS? Too close. We can't too do that. Yep. It's too, it's too, too close. close. It's, you're, if you're running for president of the United States, you're in the middle of an election well, cycle. You, uh, it's, it's not fair that you should be able to pick up. What, what are you talking about, you people? Right. You morons? Wait, isn't there, like, a... a a movie set somewhere of the White House we can just take him to and tell him, oh, they put you back, sir. Oh, just they, let him, they just let, let him, him go there. That he'll never leave anyway. He'll walk around, but one day he'll try to get <laughs> ice cream and he'll be licking it right. and he'll see Joe Biden we'll just, looking a peek over the wall at him and we'll laughing. Pay and Fox News and Newsmax to f put in a, a direct feed to the White House. Like, what was that one Mission Impossible where they... They have the TV show on and make a fake news. But, thing but Fox for him. knows Trump and like all fascist right. ideologies, there are in the group. There are the in group and that's the out group. Yeah, Fox yeah. is now in the out group. Oh, they're in the with Trump. Way out group. They're in the way out group with but Trump. Fox have no choice but to stay there because they're going to pay probably a billion dollars. to This start guy running. is a ridiculous more four thousand and ninety five <laughs> times, Ray. And I bet that's even like him suing to and go being to court. Sued. Oh, yeah, it's got to be uh, all of he, it. It's just how many times he's been to court. He gets sued a ton, but he's, he's been in court 4,000 right? times. And I just want to remind <laughs> like anyone listening, this is very, very, very important. You know, Joe Biden did not indict Donald Trump, and a prosecutor did not indict Donald Trump. There you go. A, a jury, an anonymous jury of his right? human peers indicted Donald Trump on federal At charges. At 12. There it is. Yeah. And from there the Florida, is. from the state of Florida and the Miami, whatever area. Oh, that's is. what I'm saying. Like, people don't understand. Like, Trump, you, I, I don't, you know who what pisses me off the most? Like, yeah. When I come back, we're going to talk about uh, this issue that I got with something, okay? And it pisses me off the most is <sighs> Twitter. Twitter and uh, cesspool. the cesspool that it has okay. become. But beyond that, the fact that there are people that just say whatever. Yeah. And they want we'll talk about it when we get back on the queue now right after this. Twelve eighty AM KYRO one oh five point three FM. Yeah. News radio KYRO dot com every Saturday, one to three PM Central Standard Time here on the Blowtorch of the Midwest, KYRO, the Fox affiliate. And I've got Ray Reed here with me, along with Jay Call. Know some young like to sweat. Know some young like to sweat. Young skinny black kids, right? As you like to say, sir, right? That's right. Right from St. Louis. <laughs> All right. My biggest issue I got with this Twitter stuff, right? Is, that Is literally, literally. Literally. <laughs> the fact that I've got idiots telling people anything when they have zero right. reputation, they bought a blue check. It is no literally stupidity now. Yeah. And they are dumb people. And they'll say anything. And it, it, they'll take any news story that just came out, and they will spin it 32 times to the sun. Yep. Yep. It's so weird. But it's okay because... Trusted news sources, which they always try to discredit on MSNBC. They try to discredit yeah. uh, CBS News, uh, people like that. Yeah. Meanwhile, they're the they're only fine. ones telling the truth. They're fine. Listen, you can talk to Mark Bland, Fox News radio host, right? Yep. yep. Or you could talk to Tom on his Twitter spaces with his three friends <laughs> in his basement. Right. <laughs> okay. You everything that they don't want you to know. I'm not going to sit here and lie to you about Donald Trump. I'm not going to sit yeah, we here. Don't have to make stuff I'm up. not going to sit here and lie to you about Ron DeSantis. I'm not going to make things up. The truth is too entertaining. It's so entertaining. Right. Think about it. Former president of the United States, four thousand yeah. times he's been to court. <laughs> right. He's now in court again with thirty-seven count indictment against him. And it's a serious one. And he probably just 
he's going to eventually perjure himself because they're going to ask him about. Oh, look his, at the way he talked. I'd say on that Fox News. Yeah, the interview crazy. where he's like, I took it. I gave some stuff back. It's like, oh, God. yeah. And he's lying. There's no way in those banker boxes there were shoes and shirts and pants and files. That's nonsense. That's absolute nonsense that that stuff was in that box. Right. There's, that's just not going to happen. There's not, there's not shoes and pants inside your document box filled with magazines. Ray, what was your uh, original uh, feelings the minute you heard that Trump was indicted on 37 counts? Um. Honestly, it was. They're talking that mic. It was the whole world know that you're there, baby. <laughs> Honestly, it was it was pretty disappointing. Um, kind of kind of knocked the wind out of your sails a little bit. You're saying? Well, we all knew that he's a terrible human being. Correct. But just reflection on you know the country that we all love so much, and that a large portion of a large portion of the country believes with their heart and soul that he is the savior for this country and that he's gonna lead this country he's gonna take him to the promised land yeah right. and that's so disheartening. scientology <laughs> yeah it's so scientologist uh, yeah unless the, it's a good point unless the promised land's prison that one guy got Evidently. 12 and a half years this week oh my goodness the guy that stunned that michael ferone in the neck that guy oh my goodness he got 12 yeah. and a half years earlier this week guys i got a city of st louis story that i want to read to you, you guys ready for this one i'm always yeah. ready for these the uh, city of St. Louis wants $300,000 payout back from police officer that was dismissed. Here, check this out. Mm. According to the Riverfront Times, St. Louis is trying to get three hundred k back from a former St. Louis police sergeant, Heather Taylor, who won a discrimination lawsuit against the city. In March, a jury awarded Taylor $300,000 after finding that police department leaders retaliated against her for speaking to the media. Now the city is trying to get that money back. Taylor brought the original suit in 2017, saying that she had spoken to St. Louis Post-Dispatch columnist Tony Messenger a year prior in her capacity as the president for the Ethical Society of Police. Messenger's article described how the police had turned off its shot spotter gunfire detection technology because, as Taylor said, the bill hadn't been paid. Taylor alleged that the department leaders retaliated against her for speaking to Messenger, even though many white officers had spoken to the press in a similar manner without reprimand. Taylor said that she was criticized and ostracized within the department and generally dismeaned by supervisors, talked over and interrupted and forced to raise her hand to speak at meetings. So there was some bullying. There was some bullying going on here for sure. Evidently, it's because she is... A person of color. Sounds like she deserves the money. And uh, yeah, it sounds, sounds like, like she deserves it. And here's the nice. problem. She was already given the award. Yeah. Whoever looked at this case already was like, okay, whatever this is right here, she's right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Listen, when you tell me what supposedly was the issue and why they like, like what was the details of the case like that? If I agree, that seems like that's the problem. Like, she doesn't right. need to give that money back. Seems like the yeah. city needs to read the room, too, man. Yeah, they're, really, they're not doing Rena, real you good turned right now off the, the shot spotter <laughs> gun detection program? Stop it. Why did you buy it if right? you didn't want to use it? Plus, it's to help you get the situations faster so that you can help people that are in need faster. I understand that it's a nasty side project that the United States has going on here with its gun issue. Man, I, I understand. Right. Where are you at on guns, Ray? You're going to run for a house seat. Where are you at on guns? Talk Man. to us. So I actually traveled to D.C. last summer. I was on the same plane with our Congresswoman Ann Wagner. Whoa. I met with members of... Uh, the House and Senate to advocate for what President Biden signed into law as a safer community is now law. While Ann Wagner, you know, she went on the same plane to vote Well, you were it. on the plane with Ann Wagner and her hair. <laughs> Both <laughs> things. Like, yeah. you saw her hair. Yeah. That hair right? could yeah. win. That hair could beat Joe Biden. Jeez. That hair. <laughs> it's like, that hair could beat Joe Biden. I'm not going to lie to you. 2023. It really is. Ann yeah. Wagner's hair is 1986. Yeah, but <laughs> they really, but it right? could it win. It could win some law. I'm telling right? you, it, could, it definitely yeah. could win some Karen contests. Yeah. But, you know, yeah. even in a state like Missouri, you know, I don't shy away from the fact that, you know, I have close ties to March for our lives and uh, moms demand action. And I'm always going to, you know, I come from the school shooter generation. You know, I had to learn. You did. I yeah. Had to learn yeah. Uh, shooting drills before I even learned how to read, which is 
just terrible that that's the my reality. kids know shooting drills and i never had to learn a single one never had one yeah we didn't even we have what fire drills i was at in tornado yeah. Drills. yeah so the nra doesn't write my gun policy march for our lives does there you go well everyone wants to be this pro-life person until right. it's time to be pro-life. That yeah. seems to be the issue. It's yeah. like, I'm definitely pro-life. Yeah. And it's like, okay, cool, 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 cool. Uh-huh. So here's this situation right. where pro-life needs to be applied. I do uh-huh. not like that. Let them die. I right. need them dead. They're pro-birth. What they are is pro-self. Yeah. They're pro-self. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> They've, oh, conservatives are pro-self. The state of Missouri is pro-self. Josh Hawley's pro-self. They're all pro-self. Whatever makes them look the best. Self-preservation which, let, let me be honest, I'm going to be fair to them. Yeah. Self-preservation is not a bad that you self-preserve, I self-preserve, he self-preserves. Well, yeah. The way we apply it is different. There you go. Mm-hmm. Once again, I need conservatives to understand these things can be useful to you if you apply them the right way. The government, we don't lean on it. We don't require it. We use it when we need a safety net or something to help us along. That's why we have the government. We yeah. don't. We're not using it as this way to uh, prop ourselves up. Because Jay, right. you got a job. Yep, I got a job. Ray, you got a job. I do. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Everybody's got a job. Jobs. All of us doing jobs anyway. So even if they weren't giving us money, we'd still be getting paid from these places right. that we have jobs at. Mine just happens to be a radio station. We're at it. There it is. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. That simple. Um. Yeah, I I think that this is a, a big loss for the St. Louis Police Department here. I I can't see this yeah, going forward. And withdraw this. I would withdraw that one. Stupid. Yeah, yeah, it's a bad look. All right, so let's talk a little bit about this um, USA draft. Yeah. Okay. So I have this idea. We're gonna try to do it today. Remember when uh, Dave Chappelle. Did the, 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 the famous race, racial race draft. the racial draft. Okay. <laughs> I kind of took the idea in that form. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Oh, and yeah. I was like, hey, I'm going to have me. I'm going to have Jay. I'm going to have Ray. All right? MJ and Ray. That's who we are. Right. MJ Ray. And by the way, my daughter's name is Reagan. We call her Ray for short. My son's name is Reed. Spelled differently, <laughs> but my son's name is Reed. My daughter picked up my notes for the show and was like, you got a guy called Ray Reed coming on your show? I said, you know what? I didn't even think about that, but right. you're right. I do have a guy named Ray Reed coming yeah, on the show. That's yeah. kind of weird. That's kind of odd how that worked out. All right. So my thought was is simply this. We have 50 states. We do. I'll even allow Puerto Rico and them Ooh, to play in, too. If you want to play in Puerto Rico and any Commonwealth, yeah. Guam. If you want to get a Guam kick going on, you got to be we like We should that. add Puerto Rico. Then we could each have 17 states. Uh, well, here's the thing. I'm not worried about how deep we get. No, I want to. No, here's no. the deal. <laughs> this is not based off of any legitimate criteria whatsoever. I wanted to be the most natural I can be with this. Whatever, oh, you, yeah. no, it's whatever about... you know or think you know yeah. about the states in the United States of America and how you feel they could or couldn't benefit right. you. Hey, maybe one state's got great sports teams, so you want that for that reason, there okay? Maybe another state has oil, so you want yeah. that for that Gotta reason. Sell that junk. See my point? Like, every state's kind of different. Maybe, maybe you want to be secluded. Maybe you want Hawaii. Ooh. For a reason. But see, that's Maybe. the thing. Whatever state you choose, we got to tell why you're choosing yeah. the state. And it doesn't <laughs> matter how accurate you physically are. People are going right. to chastise us because we're going to get things right. wrong. But I want to see where people are at on our honest assessments of these states. Because right. one person might pick such and such and we'll go, oh, no, 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 right. no, no. Do you see my point? I can't wait to not draft Mississippi. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> Jeez. I told him that today earlier. <laughs> um, I did have a question for you, Jay. Did you hear about? And we're gonna do the race. We're gonna do this draft for the United States. We're yeah. gonna do this here in uh, the next segment. That's we're gonna, go. When we we come back from break, yeah, two and two. <laughs> we're gonna, when we come back from break here in a little bit, we're going to uh, do that. But before we get to the break, according to the Business Insider, North Korean dictator Kim Jong Un has issued a secret order to local authorities that would ban suicides after data is showing the numbers of suicide are skyrocketing. He called suicide an act of... Ready? Hold on. 
an act of treason against socialism. There you go. Kim ordered local authorities to take action to prevent people from killing themselves. Do you know what order that he took and told the police to take? Uh, shoot them? <laughs> shoot them and <laughs> right. kill them. The Don't people that were going to commit we'll suicide, <laughs> if they right. didn't, weren't successful with it, he wants them to come along and just kill them. <laughs> Haven't they ever heard of suicide by cop? What are you doing, Kim? Man, I'm actually so glad Joe Biden is the president right now. Yeah. Right, could you it's, imagine? It's not in his nature to escalate oh, anything. No. And Donald Trump would tweet away Little Rock. Right? Man. Oh, my God. All day long. Escalating, escalating, escalating. Remember, an act of treason against socialism. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. There it is. They are admitting that their society is a socialist-based society where it is a socialist-run government. And what do conservatives absolutely hate more than anything else in the world, Jason? Socialism. That's right. They hate <laughs> socialism. Everyone, Everyone knows this. Every, listen, listen. Every single person that's not a Republican or conservative, they're a socialist. Everyone. Everyone is a socialist. You don't like not Donald one Trump? Of them. You don't like Donald Trump? You're a yep. socialist. Yep. Socialist. Social, yep. socialist. <laughs> That's what you, you are. You think Marjorie Taylor Greene is dumb? Well, that's just the thing. A You're just a socialist, say. Ray Reed. You know what? You're what? just a socialist. You yeah. don't. So, you don't respect our LEO. You're a socialist. If you two ever want to kill two hours, get on YouTube. Type in secret North Korea videos. They are so great. It's people that are filming North Korea without them knowing they're being filmed. Yeah. It's nuts, man. I have they not have seen these. They have stores. Yeah. That aren't You're a real. YouTube kid, though. You probably watch a lot of things. Like, they have fake stores that you can't buy anything in. They're just there. So, in so, North Korea? Yeah, so they're there. So when they have, like, news comes and they and it's prepared, they come into these fake stores. And the stuff's just always there. Yeah. And the kids at the universities, they're on the computers, but they don't actually know how to use yeah. the computer. And so this guy goes in. He has the camera in a bag. And the girl's behind the counter. And he's like... And when, you know, in so wait, 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 wait. So they're 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 secretly filming this stuff. Yeah, they don't know they're. But being here's filmed. the problem: I walk into a place where there's a bunch of kids, and while I'm secretly filming them, they're just they chose that day to go sit in front of computers and not know how to use them. Well, that's set up. That seems like that'd be that, set up. That's when they have like the news show up. They make them act like they're doing schoolwork and stuff. Right, and these stores are set up so this guy has the bag camera, and he goes up to her and in Korean and he asks her, "How much for that?" And she's like, "It's not for sale." And, and he's like, "How much this stuff?" And she goes, "None of this is for sale." And he's like, "None of it's for sale. I can't buy this." And she was like, "No," uh. and that's because it's not none, nothing's real. It's crazy. They use their own poop for fertilizer because they don't have cattle, enough cattle. That's what I think about Arkansas, and here's the deal. <laughs> that might be why I choose I choose not to use right. Arkansas in the ra- – in the ra- I keep wanting to call the racial draft now because you right. said that. In the, uh, the, the uh, North American USA draft that we're going to be doing here. Yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, it's time for us to take a quick break here on the queue now. When we come back. We will do the USA draft. I can't wait to see where Jason goes, where Ray goes uh, with this. Who goes we're gonna, first? Uh, we're going to have to determine that, there okay? We go. We're going to have to determine that. Maybe. Maybe we'll figure that out off the air. There we go. Fair enough. All right, we'll be back on the queue now after this. Now let me offer this as a rebuttal. 1280 AM, KYRO, 105.3 FM, newsradio, KYRO.com. Mark Bland. They say little number where you been at. I'm just passing the breeze. Ray Reed is in studio with us today, hanging out on this beautiful Saturday afternoon. Thank you. Jason Call is here. And it is time for us to do the USA Draft. Are you ready for this moment in your life, Ray Reed? I know when you woke up this morning, you were like, listen, I'm going to get to draft U.S. states. That's what I'm going to get to do, okay? So. I will uh, I will try to keep a running tally of some sort. Okay, that's what I'll try to do here. I got uh, I got the Marky Mark right here. Uh, I've got the Ray Reed right here. Right. And we don't have to write the, their whole names. Then we got so the J. Small. We got the J. All right, I got all three of us right here. M O. Now, let's do this in. Uh, let's see. Let's see here. Pick a random order. Uh, order of. Go ahead, Ray. Choose. Order of what? Order of... Could be birthdays. It could be heights. It could be weights. It could be anything. Birth years. Birth years. All right. So that means, Jay, you are going to go first, sir. All right. I will be going second, 
and Ray will be going third. Okay. All right. So wait, let's see if I just change this up to Jay. Yeah. And then Mark. I know that dude. And then uh, Ray, because he'd be the youngest. All right. There we go. Um, well, Jay, you're up first. All right. Uh, ladies right. and gentlemen, we are doing the USA draft. It's very simple. You can use whatever reasoning you know right. currently about whatever states that you know about these states. Hey, listen, you, it could be about Sasquatch. That's <laughs> fine. I get it. That's cool. <laughs> but you could use Bigfoot, and I will understand Oregon. Like, right. I'll get it. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> like, much. these things, and I'm not into conspiracy stuff. Bigfoot. But my point being, my point being, you can validate as long as information that you know yep. about whatever it is, yep. that state, uh, I, it's got to be relatively legitimate information, obviously. Yeah, you know, because it's pretty. But uh, if there are things like Bigfoot, things like that, we understand those hey, are things tourism. that are associated. That's a, those are things that are associated with those states. There are so people that will pay you money. That's to right. So we can. That could be tourism. Exactly. Yeah. It could be a lot of different things. Which. By the way, I was watching Forge and Fire, the TV show. They put some new episodes up. Oh, they make and, swords. And uh, one of the, yeah, the one where they make yeah. the swords. And uh, the one guy, he just kept wanting to uh, win the $10,000 so that he could take his wife on a trip to go search for cryptids in Bigfoot. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> well, thank God he's going to have a sword. Jay. Yes. Sir. I already know who I'm begging. You are up first in the 2023 yeah, USA, USA Draft. draft. I am drafting out of California, California. <laughs> you are drafting out of California. <laughs> because Cali. I get all of that beach property. Okay. I get all of my movies, music for the most part, art, all is coming out of there, mostly movies. And you get climate. It can be really hot down south, but you go way north, get up in some of the mountains, you get snow. So That's it fair. I don't always have to be hot. That's fair. Yeah, California. You get a host. You get two. It, it's our best state. Okay. And tech. You get tech. Uh, I, Mark Bland, will choose New York nice. as my state. Uh, aside from decent sports teams. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't even go into sports. Randomly. Randomly. Uh, uh, wealth. Generate right. wealth. Like, I have a ton of money that runs through that, say, and it's a major and port. entertainment as well. And it's a major port for the United States, so uh, there's a controlling interest there yeah. as far as the state has. Yeah. I have control of our port in New York, yeah. which is a huge thing to have I would have taken of. New York if it was on the board and I didn't have California. Jeez. That's right. Yeah. Ray, you are up next, sir. No surprise here. I'm taking Missouri. Oh, You're going to take the home. Mo. Okay. He's got us. <laughs> the best state in the union, number one draft pick for me. You're, uh, why, why, why Missouri? What do you love about Missouri? Tell me about Missouri in your eyes. It's honestly the best place in the world. You know, it, it, My experiences here may be into the person who I am today. Um, and honestly, I think we are the most beautiful state in the union. If you've ever been to the Ozarks, if you've ever been to really anywhere outstate Missouri when the sun's setting in the west looking towards Kansas There's City. There's only one problem, Ray, with Missouri, in my opinion. The legislature. Yeah, aside no. from, no, no, aside from the, no, the politics actually is a secondary. Uh, you know, the problem with Missouri, I think, is is uh, the people. I don't think the people are as nice or as decent as they could be. Hmm. I think that it's the show me statement you got to show you got to show and prove. Ah you. man, you can show a lot and people just ignore you. Trust me, I was working with Team Lunatics back when we broke. <laughs> you know, a lot of people came to our table talking about we was rocking with you all day long, but it, telling us dates of things and we looking at them side eye like, uh, yeah, we were there that day and there was not that many people there. So we don't know what you're talking about, but you you're really pretending now that you heard a song on the radio, <laughs> like for real. Um, I'm just not a fan of Missouri people sometimes. sometimes. I think that there's a fakeness to them hmm. at times. Sometimes that can be a drag. Okay. Josh right. Holly's from here too, so it makes sense. Yeah. Right. He's, but he lives He's a in fake Virginia. piece of trash. Though. lives in Virginia. Makes sense. Hit or miss. Uh, Jay. All right. We are back around to you for your second pick of the 2023 USA Draft. Yes. I am taking... Texas. You're taking Texas. And why, sir? Because of landmass. Landmass. Perfect. Perfect I argument. Beef for my people who are going to eat beef in California. Okay. And sports, college football. 
I feel like that's you get you get the college football, but you also get all the other stuff I said. You don't get that with the other states. Alabama, Georgia, they're too small. So um, you know, you get Texas, Texas A and M, mostly te- mostly Texas. All right, fair enough. Smart move, all right? Not bad. Uh, for my second pick of this 2023 draft, I am going to go with the state of mm, man. It's got me double thinking. Hold on. Shoot. I'm going to go with Florida. Nice. I go with Florida. Surrounded by water. Surrounded by water. It's got a healthy tourism business that is also wealth generation. Um, And you can turn it around. uh, I could. It's one of those states that eventually will all become old and we'll move there. So eventually it'll go blue anyway (laughs) at some point. Um, Once they watch them, screw them over. But, yeah, that's why I chose Florida, guys. Nice, Uh, Nice. Nice choice. What about you, J- uh, Ray? I'm going with the number 50, Great State of Hawaii. You're going to go with right. Hawaii. That's okay. Perfect choice. Yeah. Why Hawaii, sir? You know, I joke with my girlfriend, you know, if uh, this politic thing all crashes and burns, I'm going to be homeless. And if I'm going to be homeless, I might as well be on a beach in Hawaii. All right. So. You know what? So <laughs> Why not? You just got to get there. Yeah. You got to find a way to get there. Spend all my money to get on a plane to go to Hawaii <laughs> just so I could only get a one-way ticket and never go home. Yep. Uh, all right, Jay, you're up, sir. I am going across the river to get Illinois. He's taking Illinois. Chicago. That's a good one. I get Chicago. Right, I get a big city in the Midwest with multiple seasons. Decent sports. And decent sports at times. Decent sports. Corn, uh, beans. Right. Oh yeah, yeah. Michael you get, Jordan's contractually you get, you get obligated. An entire to show state up. that's got farming. Yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. And and I yeah, you know got to need some green. Michael Jordan mine. will contractually come back to yeah, the state he, he and has perform to come for back you and, like, and say things. Yeah, he has no choice. He, there's no <laughs> other bulls that he ever played for. Like, and that's the only way he's going to get noticed. Um, not not anymore. No, he's Michael Jordan. Like he's ridiculous. Right. Uh, there now. All right. Illinois, good pick. I, sir, sirs, I am going to take Alaska. Ooh, and I'll tell you why. Bad. I'll tell you why Alaska. Alaska, one landmass. I get massive landmass, untapped resources for sure up in Hawaii or no, Hawaii, up in Alaska that we don't, yeah. we, we still don't know about right. that they're always finding up there. But here's the other thing. I know at some point, and I'm not sure when, but eventually they're going to tap into this idea that Alaska basically touches Russia. Yeah. Like, there is a way to, like, if they could make an interland bridge. (laughs) Right. That's what, how far is that across that area there? It's, like, under 100 miles. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It might be under 20 miles. It's not very big at all. As we go right across right there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? A 20-mile bridge. We got those in other states. And our zoos will have to come to you to get polar bears. The zoos will have to right? come to you to get polar bears. Hell We're gonna yeah. We're going to have to be like, hey, man, we'll trade you. But you got to go to Alaska. It's cold <laughs> right? up there. So I got Alaska. What do you think, Ray? I think uh, the great state of Nevada. Um, oh, good one. Oh, I do like Nevada. Grabbing good Sin one. City on right. Get Sin you know, City. That's history. great. You get mob yeah. tourism. You do get mob tourism. You also get Las Area Vegas. 51. All, Dang it. All the military tech. Oh, you right. get military tech. Yeah, he gets high end military tech. Charge money. Secret. Yeah. If I'm the military, I'd charge like exorbitant prices and then like put up like fake crap, like fly by. Like, and they're like, oh my God. <laughs> you know, it's like nonsense, but these people pay. We can fund some veterans, you know, scholarships that way, right? Yes. Selling tickets to weirdos. Definitely could. Jay. Yeah. You are up, sir. I am going to take Washington. Washington State. Yes. And uh, tell us why. Because I can have the 90s. You can have the 90s? Right. Sub-pop okay, you do get you do get like the nostalgia of the nineteen like, nineties and all that. Yeah, being like someone working of at Sub Pop Records in nineteen ninety. Nirv- how cool them, that would be! All them different bands. Well, because it's right before it explodes, and you're just cool, and you're working there, and bam, boom, right becomes the big dog. No kid. Uh, I am up. I am going to take. 
I'm going to take Wisconsin. Right. Dang it. Now you're going to the Dells. Uh, I'm going to take Wisconsin simply yeah. because I get farming. I get yeah. I get dairy. Jeez. I get dairy production. Football. I get dairy production. I do get the Green Bay Packers. That's Packers kind of a Big legendary team. That's great. I get Big Ten football. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. You get basketball. You got Marquette. And sure do. Milwaukee Bucks, former champs. That's true. Um, all right, Ray. Uh, I gotta go with uh, Tennessee, man. Tennessee's yeah, taking nice. Nashville. Charm. Yeah, Memphis, the home of Elvis Presley nice. and Dolly Parton. Oh, he does get Elvis and Dolly. Good score. Good that is score. a great score. That's a good score. Yeah. That is a good. Pretty women too. Right. Some pretty girls there, right. man. You get University of Tennessee volunteers. That's kind of legendary. That's well known. <laughs> woo, 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 woo. You get paid money. You do get paid money. Sort of. So early, you know, get them yeah. early in the day. <laughs> yeah, you get even college paid money. Not as funny. Jay, yes. Let's go and see where this round ends because we might be uh, right up against the break here. Let's see, Jay, you're you're up. I am going to take the state of Iowa. Iowa, <laughs> hometown, hometown. Okay, Big that's Ten fair. football. Now we can play each corn. other. Corn. You get corn. You do get corn. You, get corn. you also get winters with, with the need for a massive snow it can get removal cold in machines. the northern part. The, the big, huge snow machines with the yeah. big wedge <laughs> that just blows yeah. it at 52 feet off the highway. Snow plows. Just crazy. They have crazy snow plows. They killed an Iowa basketball yeah, in player in the 90s. In northern Iowa, I bet you their winters, those highways just get. They get pretty soaked pretty quick. Man. Yeah. To need a plow that big. That's crazy. Right? They're big. And they They're literally like the cut a wall. That, they'll cut a wall. Yeah. They'll cut like a tunnel. Right. That they'll follow in some of these states. <laughs> like, imagine? that's crazy how much snow they're getting. All right. Uh, I am up. I got a few on my plate that I like. Um, I'm going to take Pennsylvania. Nice. Okay. I get my flyers. Right. Union workers. Yep. I uh, I get a state that does swing vote. Yep. So uh, there is the play there on the political side right. of things. Get Independence Hall. My numbers. I also get the beginnings of our history, That's guys. I get all that, you know. I get you the Liberty Bell, everything. You've been to Philly? I have not. So I, Out of all the places I've been historically wise, inside Independence Hall is the coolest place I've ever been. Because you're literally standing you're on the other side of the gate. You can't get up to where the podiums are. You're like literally standing right where they signed. Where they signed. That's stuff, where they yeah. signed that when it was done. All right, Ray, <laughs> with the last pick of the fifth round. Easy pick. Easy pick. Where are you going? Louisiana. Louisiana Ooh, gets one. New Orleans. Best good seafood one. In the I almost world. took Louisiana because I also wanted get the Gulf. Beach. You get beach. Yeah. You get beach. But I get Gulf with Texas, so that's why I went with Texas. Yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to take a quick break here on the show. I want to do a couple more rounds yeah, yeah. of the USA draft when we come back from our break. Plus, we've got the hot seat with our friend Ray Reed yeah, coming up. He has he no idea about that. I don't. <laughs> Plus, we're going to talk about a few other things, so I'm excited about that. We'll be back on the show right after this. Miami, the Playboy's paradise. Pretty girls, fast cars. That's just a facade. The bridge separates South Beach from Miami. 1280 AM KYRO. The real Miami. The Miami. Mark Bland, Ray this Reed. Running for the 83rd Every seat. Every day I'm hustling. Every day he's 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 hustling. Ray Reed and his boy Ross. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, Ray Reed's here sitting with us. Jay Call is sitting over there. We're doing the USA draft. We're all hustling, having a good time. Ray, you having yeah. a good time, man? Great time, man. I appreciate you coming out and uh, hanging out with us here at the radio station. This is the blast, man. It Love is this. always nice to get out and talk to some different people, some people you never knew. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Learn about individuals. I like it. I like it a lot. All right. So, mm. Rick Ross hustling. That's what we were listening to there for a second. So, hope you liked it. Um, we're back to the draft, the USA draft. Currently, Jay has the states of California, Texas, Illinois, Washington, and Iowa. 
I, your wonderful host, Mark, have New York, Florida, Alaska, Wisconsin, and Pennsylvania. And Ray Reed, our guest today, who's running for the 83rd District in the United or not United States, in the Missouri State House. Uh, he has Missouri, the home state. Hawaii, Nevada, Tennessee, and Louisiana, which was what he picked right before we went to break. Yep. And we have a few more rounds that we wanted to do of this. So, Jay, you are on the clock, sir. All right. I am going to take Massachusetts. Massachusetts. You get some Boston action Boston. there, dude. I need some a little history to match Boston. your Pennsylvania. That's right. Yeah. I you got get the pretty, tea party. And I get the college. Right. Right. Not just Harvard. You get Boston College. UMass. You got some history there. Yeah, Mass right. is a great, yeah. great choice. I would say, I would say it goes New York, then Mass, then probably Philadelphia or Pennsylvania at yeah, that point. Like, that, like that's that, how I that would Eastern corner that there. Eastern corner, like how the breakdown goes for right. like you, the order you would pick them in, I would think. Um, all right. I'm on the clock. I'm thinking, I'm looking around. A lot of the bigger dogs have been taken. Not all of them. No, no, there's some good ones. Not all of them. There's some good ones out there. Uh, I think I'm going to take Washington, D.C. Nice, nice. He's now I get the power. Yep. Because everybody has to come there because I control the United States of America. So there's that, and that's pretty much a really good reason to have Washington, D.C. Now, I have Washington, D.C. I did not say that I have Baltimore. Or Maryland, (laughs) or Virginia, or anything else over there. I did not. I got the District of Columbia, is what I have. But that includes Congress and everything that runs this country. So there you go. That's who I got right now. Your hotels are flush. Ray, you are on the board. Yeah, you know, I want to monopolize the uh, seafood industry, so I want to take Maine. Okay, nice. you're going to go for Maine. Lobster. That's not a bad idea. We can also, hang out. you get some good tourism up there, especially in the summertime. Stephen King yeah. stuff. Uh, what about you, Jay? You're on the board now. I am also interested in a coastal city mm. or state. I'm going to go North Carolina. You're going to go North because Carolina. If you have a choice between southern states, it's best to take the one that's north. <laughs> That's true. So yeah. I think that's probably the better of the Carolinas when it comes to people. Uh, and I get, you know, I get Duke. I get North Carolina. I get basketball. You do get Duke, and I love Duke. All right. Man, that's tough. Yeah. Huh. It's a more superior. No, I'm just thinking. He took North Carolina. Carolina. I'm starting South. to, like, go through and, and cycle through them now. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, we're dwindling down. Down to it. We're getting down to where it's starting to switch over to like the states that are going to be the mid runners. You know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? So I got I got to think carefully about this because mid runner states can be hit and miss. You know, I'll give you good examples. You can say you want a Kentucky. Not that's bad. not a bad college spot. Sports. You got college sports. That's SEC. cool. You get the uh, I I do get the uh, uh, down, Kentucky Downs. Yeah, you get the. Mm. Races. I get the races at the Kentucky Derby and all that. All right. So I, I Baseball got that. Bats. Baseball bats. Louisville right. Sluggers. Yeah. Yep, correct. Um, I do get the starting place of a Randy Orton, a John Cena, a Batista, oh, down there, an yeah. OVW yeah. At, in Louisville. Um, man, I get a I get a few things if I go that route. But then it's I also get Mitch McConnell. <laughs> and I also get right. like some things that I, you definitely do not want and grabbing the grim reaper and telling them you want them on your team is not the way to go about it. Um, you know, I mean, I think I'm going to stay on the money power trip. I think I'm going to go Ohio. Mm, nice. So that I have a say in the national election, uh, some swing there seat, some swing seat action That's right there. 20 electoral votes. Uh, I also get uh, Hall of Fames, get some Hall of Fames. Uh, I also get Cleveland, nice cool seat. I got cool seat, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. So I got some cool stuff like that. Uh, Yeah, I'm going to go Ohio. Ray, you are on. Uh, Let me get uh, Virginia. You Ah, want Virginia? Okay, okay. That's some history there. It's George Washington. It's Thomas Jefferson. That's right. Yeah, Virginia. All right. Yeah. Uh, National let's see. Cemetery. 
Let's see here. You can hang out with Mark. Uh, yeah, you could. <laughs> How, how, where are we at? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You want to do three more rounds? Ah, we try to get, get, yeah, try to get we'll get a nice solid Wait, one, ten two, three, state. Four, five, six. Oh, yeah, we've done seven, we'll so collect we, them together. We got three more to do. Eight, nine, and ten. All right. Uh, Jay, you're up. I am gonna take Colorado. Colorado. Yeah. Tourism for sure. Right. Beautiful. It's mountains. beautiful. You get Denver. Right? I guess won a the championship. Sport. They just won a right? championship. NBA yeah. Teams are hanging out there. That's cool. All right. Uh, Colorado's okay. That's a nice place. I am going to go. Hmm. Man, that's a tough one. Give me. Give me Atlanta. Give me Georgia. Nice. Ah, Give me Georgia. Give me ATL. Yeah. I get all the hip hop music. I get all of that. Right. I get and all you still get SEC plus, football. But I also I get I get Kentucky. numbers. I get numbers. Yeah. I'll be fifth biggest city in the country. Right. Like I get numbers. I get real numbers, yeah. ladies and gentlemen. Real numbers that, that make one. sense. That was a good one. Uh Ray, where you at? Uh can I take uh Arizona? You can yeah, have Arizona. You, you know, I would take Arizona myself had I thought about it. Yeah, you got half think, of the baseball teams in the spring. Think about it, like those those Phoenix Suns. Uh, those those who the loser Suns that lost <laughs> that didn't do nothing. They just got Bradley Beal, a kid from St. Louis. Uh, uh, I understand that, but ago. that doesn't make me have to love them or anything like that. They still need a bench them. though. If they get a bench, they contend. But you do get Phoenix though. You know, I like Phoenix. It's yeah. a cool city. You Pretty get the food. Grand Canyon. You huh? do get the Grand Canyon, and you get a Mexican border, and you get Tombstone. Oh, El Paso. Yeah. Oh wait, that's New Mexico, isn't it? Oh, El Paso or Texas? Sorry. But you get Tombstone. You do get Tombstone. Jay, you're up. I am going to head a little bit above him and go ahead and take Utah. He's taking Utah. Mitt Romney. Right? I get Mitt Romney. I get crazy people. But I get that western backdrop. That's nice. Nice mountains. All right. Uh, I'm on the board. And... Wow, I don't know what to go for. If I want to go more for nostalgia, do I want to go for uniqueness? You know, uh, you got states that you're not even thinking of, like right off the top of your head, like a Delaware yeah. or Rhode Island. Right, the first state, Delaware. Exactly, the first yeah. state. I've first one. through Delaware. Damn it, you get Plymouth Rock, too. Yeah. Yeah, dang it. You get Dover, you get some NASCAR. Uh, uh, you get Plymouth Rock with Boston. Yeah. Or with Massachusetts. Yeah. Um, man, this is a tough one, guys. I could also go Midwest. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I could do some field action. You know, I could take a Kansas. Though. I could take an Oklahoma where I get the cattle. There's surprisingly a lot of You know, that's a lot of Kansas. money running through there. I could go get Montana. It's popular right now with that TV show. It's popular for yeah. tourism. Yeah. I could do that. Stars There's a lot of places night. I could go. I think I'm gonna go. Uh, I think I'm gonna go, go north. I think I'm gonna go Minnesota. Nice, solid, mm-hmm. solid. Lakes I think galore. I get lakes. I get a lot of cool. tourism. Yeah. I get a shared border with the state of or the country of Canada. Yeah, you do, which is to my advantage. Some trade. Um, so there you go. Ray, you're yeah. on the board, sir. Uh, roll Tide, man. You're going to go Alabama? I almost yeah. took Alabama. There's Why? history there. There's history there. So it's terrible, but <laughs> <laughs> there's they, there's lessons to be learned. Have you ever seen the Florida state flag? It's just the Alabama it's state flag. It's just the Alabama right? state flag <laughs> yeah. in the corner or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. That's nuts. Yeah. I'm saying they're, they're just the champs, and I think they're going to win again next year. Okay. Nobody Ooh. cares about college football. <laughs> Nobody cares. Everybody does. They're coming, Nobody. They're coming back. But. All right. Here's the deal. Jay, you're up. All right. We are in the last round of this first 2023 USA draft. Woohoo! I am going to take Michigan. You're going to go Michigan. Yeah. Damn it. That took one out for me. I get a big city. I get all the lakes. You get a shared I'm border with Canada. Canada. What's right across from there? Toronto, right? Uh, Toronto's yeah. right across the street yeah. from, uh, from Detroit. Detroit. Yeah. So, yeah. 
You get Toronto access too. That's nice. Yeah. All right. Uh, you've kind of put me on the ropes here a little All bit, right? right? I, 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 we've gone through. Let's see here. We are in. We're going to have thirty states out of fifty off the board. Yeah. Sorry, other. T- so half the uh, half Loser. the states are gone. Over half the states are gone. Yeah. Currently. So I've dwindled. We need more states. We do need more states. Uh, there's probably some good ones out there, though. Let there is. There's something. There's a few I haven't. haven't yeah, we don't, don't tell me. Don't no, tell no, me no. because you, you, you got to. You, well, now you're done. You've already done your. You, <laughs> oh, is it? Yeah, ten? that's the 10th. Oh, that was the 10th one. Look at me right always there. wanting more. <laughs> uh, I think I'm going to go. Man, that's a tough question. I'm looking for some uniqueness. I think I'm going to go with Vermont. Nice. I'm just going to go with Vermont because, Maple well, first syrup. up, I get syrup. I also get uh, a state where they're nuts, evidently. <laughs> like <Right? laughs> they're they're into like beating each other to death over oh, like yeah. their politics and stuff like that. These people like to fight. I get winters. <laughs> hey, I get no, ski you... resorts. I get ski right? resorts. Yeah. I get some ski resorts. That'll be you fun. Get fall and winter. Get some independence. I do get some yeah. independence. I do get some independence. Ray. Yeah. This is your final choice of the the, the this first ever twenty twenty three. USA draft, the only one we're going to do this year. And uh, where are you going to go? You know, I want to wrap up my uh, my uh, seafood monopoly. And okay. What goes great with any seafood is potatoes. So I'm going to take Idaho. He's got Idaho. You got militias. You got militias. All right. You got all the fun over there. Yeah, you got, you got some militias. Football, they like to just run around with State. their guns and shoot at people. So that's going to help you out. <laughs> Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's that's it. That's the uh, first USA draft. We, we, it was a good one, you know. Yeah. I thought there would be more disagreement. No, no. We, you know, like we're like, no, nah, that one's blah, 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 blah. But, like, there really wasn't. Most of us kind of chose, and the others were like, okay, I can see why you right. chose that one. Like, well, like nobody yeah. showed up and took New Hampshire or something. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's like, what? Ter- or Nebraska. Nebraska. Only, yeah, right. only terrible people would pick New <laughs> right. Hampshire, right? Right, New Hampshire? Uh, right. New Hampshire, you terrible people. Next time we should do a Nations uh, draft. There you go. What? Next time we should do a Nations draft. A Nations draft? Yeah. What do you mean? Countries. Pick countries. Con- Whoa, wow. Why? Right. You just want to pick the Uganda all over skinny <laughs> black kids. That's all you keep talking about is skinny black kids. You want Uganda... <laughs> Anything, but he gets if right. he gets that he gets the the runners too. Oh right. no, that's uh, what what's the country? Kenya. Jamaica. Kenya. Oh, Kenya. Yeah. No, I want. I, I'll take Kenya. I want yeah. that dominance. I got the uh, in the Olympics. Yeah. I actually go with Paris. That's just a chill vibe. Or there, the f- all right, Frenchmen's. Let's go one round real quick. Country. Oh, first choice. Ray, you're up. Ibiza. Hey, he's uh, got Ibiza. a party all the time. Yeah, it's a party. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I thought that was just an island yeah, that was Spain. called. I didn't. It, oh, so you want Spain. Spain, Spain? You want Spain? Yeah. Okay, that's cool. Spain's uh, got a lot of history. There's a lot of background right. there. I think that that's really cool. Um, wow, countries that really opens it up a lot, man. Right. It's everywhere. I'm going to the United States then. Mm. I'm going to take a super. Everything you know. I'm going to take it. Well, I'm just going to take. A, I'm going to take a superpower. Yeah, you win. Yeah, right. I just take a superpower. Right. Like. Are you a badass? No. You're not? Because I am. Are you a badass? <laughs> I'm nobody yet. <laughs> no, are you a badass? No. I am. Gotcha. Yeah. Like, we will fight. This country is built on people that will fight. Yeah. Like, they That's will get down. Greatest country in the world. And, so, the, and the workforce, like, never let, let never let America down. That's true. Yeah. Greatest right. workforce in the world. Or like. We are a workforce. So that, if, they, if it needs to get done, the, America will get it done. It right. will. It might take a minute, but it'll get done. <laughs> Put a man on the moon. For sure. Put right. a man on around. the moon. Looked over there. Looked over there. Yep. What about you, Jay? I am going to take England. You're going to take England. Right. That's a great one. Tons of history. Super tons of history. Right. Like goes for which is weird years because they years. always say it all was the cradle of uh, civilization down here, and but then they they got up to England. So yeah. eventually, it took years or uh, centuries to get up to England, mm-hmm. but then all of them became white people in England. <laughs> None of them are tan. At least in Ibiza, they're tan. You know what I'm saying? Like all the people in Spain are tan. You know what I'm no saying? Choice. Like everybody's everybody's of an ethnicity in yeah. those other countries. No yeah. France is white. 
<laughs> England is white. Right. Like, hey, it's not that they it's don't have overcast. other. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to take a quick break here on the queue. Now, when we come back, we are going to finish up our show. It's the hot seat. Ray Reed is going to be on it. He'll understand in a minute. We'll be back on the queue now after this. Twelve eighty AM KYRO. Mark Bland, Ray Reed, Jason Cole, <laughs> hanging out here on a Saturday afternoon, kicking it with you guys. Hope you're enjoying your day. We just got done with the USA draft. But it is now time for Ray, our guest, who is running for Missouri House, 83rd District. Make sure you stay on the, uh, the the prowl for this man. Would that be 2024, sir? It would, yes. It's going to be a 2024 bid. So he's going to be a part of all the hoopla that is going to be that yeah. S show. That crap show that's going mm-hmm. to be the 2024 election. Because you know the way Trump's already trying to make it, it's only going to get worse from here, boys and girls. It's only going to get worse from here. Unless we can get this man out of the way and shut him down and shut him up. Things are only going to get worse. But that is true. where we're at right this second has nothing to do with that. Nope. Where we're at right now, Jason, uh-huh. is we are at the hot seat. Yeah. We have our friend Ray Reed. He's sitting right here in front of us. He's in. Hanging out on the queue now all day. But as every first guest is bound to find out at some point, they have to answer our five questions. These are five random questions, Ray. That's why it's called the hot seat. There are no right or wrong answers. There is just your answer, and that's just to get to know you a little bit better. You know what I'm saying? That's why we do the hot seat, just to get to know you a little bit better. So these are random. You do not know about these at all, right? Correct? Nope, not at all. All right. So question number one, sir. Mm-hmm. And our last person, uh, no, Nico. Yes. Yeah. He Nico, he, he ran through them, man. He blew yeah, yeah, through he those. Blew right through it. <laughs> Pretty impressive. Pretty oh, impressive. Uh, very sure of himself, let's just say. Question number one What is a sign that someone is a bad person deep down? They use an Android phone. If they got an Android phone, yeah. they are a bad person. That is awesome. Completely lost in life. If they're using any Android or oh. Google products. I've had an Android in the past. I'll never go back. If I have to use an Android phone, it's going to be See? because a work issues me one. Or yeah, there you go. Uh, because I'm a, a in the reason. middle of an emergency and I need any <laughs> phone I can find. Yeah. There's a house on fire. Quick. Literally, yeah, that's it. Yeah, any like, phone that I can find. When you're in Branson uh, for the 4th, I bet you when you look out at families taking pictures, they're all using iPhones. I hope they are because that would mean that I am not just hanging out with <laughs> Android using conservative right, You swill. never know what they're going to do. Uh, all right. That's a that's a good one, Jay. What's yours? What, what's an immediate sign of a bad person? How or, they how people treat animals. Yeah. How they treat animals. Yeah, they're like flippant about running an animal over or, or hurting an animal. It might be it might be something. Uh, I that. will be the first to tell you I mm-hmm. don't necessarily care about the lives of animals. <laughs> now, not? now hold on. They're sweet. Let me explain this to you. <laughs> I also did not say I am advocating for the murdering or killing of animals either. I just choose to have a non-involved part in the whole game, right? I'll pet a dog if I need to because I have to deal with one in a direct manner. Outside of that, I don't own pets. I don't own dogs. Uh, My daughter is allergic to animals. I have a mild dander allergy. allergy. Hers is more severe than mine. Uh, but uh, I'm not an animal fan, is yeah. what I'm saying. I'm yeah. not like into animals. I'm not against them, like I said. Yeah. Not trying to run over a squirrel. I'm not going to kill a turtle <laughs> on purpose. Like I'll flip a turtle over if it's on its back. I'll flip it over so he can walk back home. I don't mind. It's not like I got a problem with animals. But uh, I don't. I don't overthink it either. I put in a human's life over an animal's life because I feel a human being is higher on the social hierarchy of life. I feel like we are the apex. We are the top. There is no one above us. We can literally kill anything. Anything on this earth. Not everything can kill everything else. We can literally kill anything on this earth. Yeah. Um, question number two, sir. Should a man 
about to be executed in the electric chair, be saved if he has a heart attack. So he's in the electric chair. Right. They have not pulled the switch right. yet. And he starts to go into a heart attack yeah. literally moments before they would have electrocuted him anyway. But they are not the ones who pulled the switch. Is this a situation where he should be saved or not? Yeah. I, don't, I don't believe in the death penalty, so I would say save his life. They, they you actually, don't believe in the death penalty? I don't. They no. actually do. They will revive them. And to then, kill them. Yeah, and then put them back in there. Yeah, that's true. That right. is kind of crazy to right. think that. Think but about that, yeah. yeah. I guess letting them lay there and die from a heart attack is considered cruel and unusual, I guess. I don't know. I guess. But yeah, they'll revive if they can. I like where you're at already. I like where your head's at yeah. already. Yeah. Okay. Question number three, sir. If you were like a pro wrestler, right? What theme song would play when you come into any room anywhere? Like, what would be the theme song that plays for you if you were to enter rooms and you had a theme song? Wouldn't that be cool? If that every time you cool. came into a room. Right? Who doesn't want that? Yeah. I could have a sweet one. You never know. I'll have to pick one out. What about you? Theme song. When I walk into a room? Yep. Same question as him. Put on... Tesla's modern day cowboy. Tesla's modern day cowboy. Right. I do Let's have a. Let everyone know I'm there. I do have a theme song. We've played it on the yep, show many a time. Uh, where you at, Ray? Uh, I'd say Stevie Wonder. Don't you worry about a thing. Okay. All right. I rock yeah. with Stevie. I like that. That's a great choice. Yeah. Right. We could also do uh, the draft of musicians, music draft. Yeah. We Ooh. could do the music draft. Oh, that'd be fun. I could come out. That would be really fun. Yeah. That'd be really fun. I can already see he's England for R&B. I don't know why. <laughs> Is it because you're a black skinny kid? <laughs> Just asking. I'm gotta, asking. Because of like recent events, I got to leave R. Kelly, argue, arguably one of the best R&B singers off the list. Well, yeah, I'm does, sorry. Stink, right? We don't. Well, yeah. here's the thing. I'm smart enough to be able to cel- celebrate and separate the artist from like the, the art, problems. Yeah. But at yeah. the same at the same point. I get where people just don't want to rock with a certain type of vibe, and these people give that vibe. Well, sometimes okay. someone can be so bad that they just take you off their music. Yeah. Like, you just kind of like, ugh, I don't want to hear that now. Like, yeah. It's so cruel. Can you imagine <laughs> if Hitler was like the best soul singer right? in history? Right, like, oh, well, <laughs> uh, Okay, well. Well, we thing. gave Michael a pass for the kids because he could dance. Like, right? the dude could dance. <laughs> like, those shows were amazing. Are you going to sit there and tell me he wasn't amazing? Like, come on now. That's yeah, why we performed. gave him a pass. <laughs> All right, question number four. If animals could talk, which one do you think would be the nicest, Ray? Which animal would be the nicest animal? If animals yeah. could talk, which one would just, you know that they would be nice? Dogs. They're, you think it's dogs? Yeah, they pack, they're pack animals. I feel like dogs are more like humans. That There would be nice and bad ones. I want the <laughs> right? overall nicest. Mm. Sloths. Sloths? Right. They'd all just be nice, chilled out. Probably a female lion because she'd be like, I don't really care for much. <laughs> like, I'm not worried about too much. Right. Like, uh, come on over I here, sweetheart. I, want. <laughs> I feel like female lions would talk with an English accent, though, right. for some reason. Them. I feel like all of them right. would. I don't know <laughs> why that is, but um, that's just how it is. So, which one you think it's dogs, huh? Yeah, you know, the dogs, they live to serve us. You always see dogs wagging their tails. Okay, yeah. that's fair. All right, then, sir. You also ran through these relatively yeah, solidly. Man, you knocked these out of the park. Question number five. If you punch yourself in the face <laughs> and it hurts, are you weak or are you strong? Ooh, that's a philosophy question. Yeah. Yeah, you punch yourself in the face. All right. I think- and it hurts. Are you weak Right. I, I think, think well, you're like, strong. you have to be strong, right? Or are you yeah. just a weak person who can't take a punch? And you might have thrown a weak punch, but you just can't take one. Strong enough to acknowledge that you know you can be weak. Yeah, you're like Superman. Superman can punch himself and hurt himself. Could he? Probably. Because hmm. he's strong enough to hurt himself, but not injure. I think himself. by the rules of superheroes, I think the the rule <laughs> is their powers maintain at all times, right. no matter what they do. So if he punched himself, he could. Hurt himself. Yeah. 
But well, I, I mean, if other Kryptonians hit him, it hurts. All right. So yeah. are you weak or are you strong? You got to make a choice here. I think you're strong. You're strong? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's yeah. fine. Can I ask you guys a question? Mm-hmm. Sure, you can ask us whatever yeah. question you like. Sir. Because this one's like this blew up my group chat this okay. week. Hit me up with the group chat blow up. If there was a machine who that could tell you your future, whether it's your relationship, a business deal, whatever it is before you launch that relationship or business deal, would you t- use the machine and find out the result? So say if it's a relationship, it's going to tell you, you know, this relationship's only only, only going to last. Is this a one-time months. thing? No, you can use it for whatever you want. Is it a one-time thing, or is it I can use it multiple times to tell me multiple deals? Multiple deals. It'll tell you. Oh, well, then I would just choose the multiple deals because yeah. all I got to do is just yes. always just keep trying different things. Right. You know, and I see that this one fails. Okay, forget that one. <laughs> try this. Oh, oh there, man. There, there. You try took, this. There, there. Oh, try this. No, nah, no. Nah. Try this. No, nah, no. Nah. Like, I until would, uh, you just get the one that works. Really? Just tell yeah, it. because I think want... about it. You probably got like 10 different things in your head right now that if we had that machine, you would throw into that machine. Mm-hmm. The first one that popped off, because you like all 10, that's why they're in your head. They're yours. Man. The first one that popped off, you'd be like, okay, that's where I'm going then. Like, I couldn't touch the machine. I couldn't do Well, I looked at, the, I looked at it as, the, you know. But my point was, is, is in this case, you use it as a tool to your advantage. It doesn't uh, matter because these things would have been inevitable anyway. That's why the machine yeah. could tell the truth. Yeah. That's why it could always tell the future. So just use it as a tool. Let it tell you what the best path right. is, and then you'll have the happiest life. Or, or it could just tell me the Powerball numbers whenever I want. Look at it I this think- way. You could, you could do it. Take the job. Do that for a little while. If you don't like it, leave the job. Try other jobs and like the, back to your list. So you find the other thing that you like, whichever one sticks, and then go try that. And be like, oh, okay. Successfully, though, you'd be successful. Mm-hmm. Now, if you take it and you only give it one shot, one try, would you do it? I say yes. If it's a one shot, one try only, yeah, I, guess it would I say on yes what because, the answer was for. because no matter what the answer is, mm-hmm. That is the right answer for that yeah. thing. So I get the answer. Hey, uh, what if I wanted to be a music artist? Bloop, 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 bloop. No, you would have never been a good music. Like, this is how your career would have went. Oh, I could a, see that. You would have yeah. got like a 30% total for success over <laughs> a history of time. Like, uh, it's stupid. There's no reason to try to be a music artist at that point. Now. I only got one shot, so I don't get to try multiple things like you said. So I can't use it as a tool, but I kind of did use it as a tool Mm -hmm. for at least one thing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Now, the question is relationship, business. That's the angle. Like, where do you go if you only have one question you can ask it? Do you go down a relationship aspect? Yeah, because what if it's like, no, it ends because they die. (laughs) They tell you like the day. (laughs) And that's the other right? that's the other like, aspect what? of this. Whatever their answer is, is the answer you get. So if yeah, uh-uh. they tell you that the relationship ends because this person dies, Ugh. you got to deal with that's what's going to happen. Right. Now, if you're already married to that person, you just found out your own future. There you go. Maybe you want to find that out. Maybe you don't. Hey, uh, how about this? How about this? How about this? Um, I'll take a day off your life. One day. Just one day. One day off your life. That's it. Okay. Okay. Take one day off your life, right? And, but I'm going to tell you everything that will happen to you tomorrow in exchange for that one day off your life. I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. In exchange for that one day off your know. life, I'll, I'll I'll literally take one day off your life. That's it. Yeah. But I'll tell you whatever answer you want for whatever's going to happen tomorrow. So think about know. it. There are people in this world right now. Sitting out there, literally in their cars, listening to us on the radio at their house, wherever they're at, right? They're listening to Mark Jane Ray. And they have some big, important business meeting that will happen tomorrow or Monday. Oh, they could find out what's going to go down. Do you see? They could use that opportunity to take one day off their life. Now, if they only got two days left on their life, they just cut their their (laughs) time in half and it ain't going to happen for them anyway. But it wasn't going to happen for them anyway. Yeah, they're going to die two days. Because they're going to die two days from then anyway. But if they could tell you that information, oh, yeah, yeah, I'll take a day off that just to find out, did my interview go well? 
for this big opportunity that I wanted. No, my luck, my day that I had removed was like the day I was about ready to get the, you know, like the medicine or whatever the cure I needed for something I had, and I was like, ugh, ugh I died. Yeah, for me, it's, it's it's the journey that's more important than the destination. Yeah, I don't want to. So know. I wouldn't want to know. I, I want to know everything. Yeah. You don't want to know everything. That's fair. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for us to get out of here on the queue now. I want to thank our friend Ray Reed. Thank you so much, Ray Reed. Thank you, guys. This was a blast. We really had a good time talking to you, and we'd love to have you back on the show soon. Anytime. I think it would be great to keep in touch with you, especially as we have political things that happen. We'll bring you out. We'll have you on the show, and you can uh, espouse to the people. Let them know what your thoughts are. Jay. Thank you so much for once again being a part of the show. I appreciate that. And ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for listening to our so well-loved show here on 1280 AM, 105.3 FM, KYRO. Check us out at theqnow.com, old episodes, new episodes, and everything in between. I love when people find out the name of the show is The Q Now, and then they go, oh, yeah, Q Now, and they go, nope. <laughs> no, not associated at day. all. <laughs> check your at the door. Yeah. All right, that's going to do it for us. We will see you guys next time on the show. <laughs>